while you suffer the cruel wintry fate that the Delaware weather annually inflicts upon us. How about imagining yourself stretched across a sandy beach at, let's say, Aruba, sipping on a tropical drink, or perhaps jetting across to balmy Hawaii for luau and some body surfing? Well, the man who's seated next to me can make it all happen. He's the resident Ricardo Montabam of Newark, Mr. Charlie B. of Charlie B. Travels. Aloha. Aloha. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. And as a travel agent, uh, Charlie, uh, what benefits can you provide Delaware residents? Well, I can't get them to those fantastic islands that uh, Ricardo Montalban does, but we come pretty close. Uh, we try to uh, tailor our trips uh, to the individual. Uh, we hope that uh, we can give them a good trip and save the money in the, in the interim. Hmm. Now, is there an assumption that services cost a great deal? Um, isn't it cheaper for one to, say, book their own than go through you? Well, we've got one of the best price lists in town. It costs absolutely nothing to go through us. We charge nothing for our services, and we end up saving the client money in the long run. Hold it. What's the catch? Uh, there's no catch. Uh, the airlines uh, pay our commissions. The hotel pay commissions. Uh, you booking direct, uh, you don't get the discount. Uh, it costs you the same. Uh, let us make the telephone calls, spend the time, uh, save you the money. Hmm. Now. There are different types of travelers, I'm sure. There's those that are, want to be prepared for everything and those who, let's say, want to be more footloose and fancy-free. Oh, we have both. Um, what type are you, Robert? Uh, probably the latter. Well, well the, the footloose and fancy-free, uh, I would suggest uh, going to uh, Club Med in uh, Martinique. Uh, they're all over the world now, and they're fantastic. They're for uh, swingers. They're for people who want to do their thing, who don't want to dress up, who want to do it minute by minute, uh, nothing planned. And on the other hand, we have trips to Europe that uh, uh, tuck you in, wake you up, and uh, feed you, show you all the highlights, uh, take care of you from the, from the first minute to the very last. You have nothing to do but uh, enjoy. Now, why should I go to your agency? Uh, what special services do you offer over some of the other agencies? Well, I'm a little prejudiced, but I think that <laughs> we, have, uh, we have some of the best uh, people in the business. I have uh, terrific staff. Uh, we have advertised for quite some time, and I honestly believe it, that we're the friendly travel agent. Uh, that we treat each client not as a client, but as a friend. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make a lot of friends, and in doing so, I think we're going to, we're going to grow. We have, and we're going to continue to do so. Hmm. Where's your agency located? We're in Newark, beautiful downtown Newark, uh, at 77 East Main Street. Uh, just a couple blocks up in the university. Hmm. Now, I'm planning a trip to um, the ski uh, resorts in uh, Colorado in March. <clears throat> if the snow is not going to be there, I don't want to go. Is don't. there any advantage that I would have to going through you? Oh, definitely. Uh, if you had booked direct uh, with a hotel, uh, in all likelihood, they're not going to call you up and tell you that we have no snow. They're going to let you come out. Uh, hoping, uh, I'm sure not wanting to disappoint you, hoping that there will be snow. But uh, most of the time their, their desires aren't fulfilled. Uh, as a matter of fact, right now in Colorado they have uh, limited snow. Yes, I know. Uh, they make snow. They, they have a policy of uh, being open if they have more than 50% of their lifts running. And if they make snow on 50% of their lifts, they're open, even though there's no snow in the mountain. Hmm. Well, thanks for coming on and uh, helping us uh, learn a little bit about traveling and the decisions that have to be made. It was my pleasure. It's been a pleasure being with all of you tonight. We'll be back next week with more of Focus Delaware. <laughs>